Nigeria women, I beg you now. I beg. Many of them, they watch Telemundo, they watch African magic, they watch all those sea world, everything. All the love story one that they see for them, all in a film trick. Tell them. Now let any of all those movies deceive you. Carry and take treat your husband for house. The other day, former best lady invites one white lady come from Yankee, come teach Nigerian women how to take care of their husbands. The woman begin to teach women of substance, I would like to intimate you that you are as equal as your husband of home. When you get back home and your husband asks you to make him food, tell your husband that you ain't gonna cook for him anymore. You ain't gonna wash his clothes. You ain't gonna do anything for him anymore. I can assure you, your husband will do just that. She go back. Two weeks later, they call them for testimony. The first woman from Botago, let's welcome Mrs. So and so. She come, share her testimony. Women of substance, I greet you. When I got back home in Botago, my husband came back from work and he asked me to make him food. And I told him, I ain't gonna cook for you anymore. I ain't gonna wash your clothes. After five minutes, my husband frowned. He went to the kitchen and he made us food that we ate. They clap. They called the one from Lagos. He come outside the same thing. They call, call the woman from Worry. Two hours, she never come out. <laughs> Let's welcome Madam Takuno. We see one woman they come from S train, they plaster one eye. They bandage her head, she they use crutches. The next thing we hear from the woman mouth. If you ask me, now who I go ask? They say, Madam Takuno, what did happen? Mm, who not go, no, no. Mm. Worry men, not play with them. Mom. They say she don't go back. My God, go punish her. <laughs> Women of substance, English, not go be explain what they happen. They say what they happen. Hmm. Hmm. I go also. As I go as my husband come back for work, Papa Taguno. Now you go ask me simple question. Mama Taguno, I want show. Oh, no, say now I remember what they know with my dishes. Now I reply my husband, I ain't gonna cook for you anymore. Your clothes, you know, say my husband told her, say, in no year, what he had done. I repeat the question in another format. Mama Tabuno, I say, I won't work. Mm. Now, reply, I ain't gonna cook for you anymore. As I won't enter, I ain't gonna like this. I'm close As I won't finish the statement, even like I said, a tsunami fall upon me. I got it on my neighbor, I said, two weeks now, I think. As I open one, the only one I open. As I see one woman waving white and white by my side, I say, Madam, who you be? She said, I should be doctor. Where are they? He said, I'm there for loot. I tell her, yeah, as a woman, I explain what they have to My husband, they call that woman, tell me, you say, boy, I go so close. <laughs> as my husband called like this, he go ask me the question in another format. Mama Tabuno, what do you want show? Oh, I'm not saying I forget. Now I reply, I ain't gonna ask her. Remember what he do with that? Some of us, when we do on stage, or musicians, unconsciously, we fight to be man of the match for the show. But this is not in my show. And see why I get this show. We can't support her. I'm not going to talk much. But I want to introduce one guy on stage. I respect this man so much. He's very, very funny. He's one of the most creative comedians we have, not only in Nigeria, in Africa. Most of you know him. But ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not too busy, a round of applause for my friend, my brother, one of Nigerian finest comedians, Kofi the 